It's the middle of the night. We have the whole city to explore. And we have an exclamation mark there. And Bagmorda. Ah, you came. You piqued our curiosity. So, what exactly do you have to offer? You don't know. Do you sell healing potions? No, we don't. There's a shop for that. I thought you had a... She said they have services. And, I mean... What kind of help do you offer to people like us? Simple. Now, people like you typically carry out missions for the Council. In the marches, even in the Badlands. Sometimes far away, like Captain Merrin. Who's Captain Merrin? You really must be new. She's one of yours. Senior Deputy of the Council. Anyway, you trek out to some old ruin in the Badlands, kill a bunch of orcs. Well, you're still a bit green, so let's say goblins. Ow! You're hurting our feelings. Orcs will hurt much more than your feelings, believe me. And stop interrupting, it's rude. So let's say... You find yourself with a whole load of rusty swords, leather armor, shields too much for you to log back here. Oh, so we're puny as well as green. Thank you so much. So instead, you brave heroes just clear the place of monsters and draw us a nice clean map. Then we take our carts and pick up every piece of junk. We bring it back, we sell it, and we split the profits with you. We move the stuff, you go off to kill more bad things, Everybody wins. For a percentage, of course. What? You could never carry it all anyway. Not in your little backpacks. That is very nice. Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Fine. Feel free to visit us any time. Or drop into any scavenger camp. Are there others? Anywhere we can settle. By the way, if you find Captain Henrik... Tell him we're still interested. In what? In getting our people to care Lem. The outpost is perfect for us. Close to the Badlands, with plenty of space for our camp. Right. We'll tell him if we find him. That would be appreciated. The more you do for us, the more we do for you. Oh. So this business relationship can get better. And I hope it will, friend. I guess we'll see you around then. Sure. Good luck out there. And don't forget, in the Badlands, always keep your eyes open. I that's I do that all the time. I have to, because of the murder and things. So what do we have in here? What are these? They're containers for us to loot? Unfinished biography and a Dragon's Den advertisement. Let's loot all. And let's see the biography here. Memories of a Shadow Tamer. There were only a handful of brave explorers, the first ever since the fall, capital F, to cross the mountains to the Old Empire, capital O, capital E. Their names, K. Annie, Betty, Arwen, Sven, Rihanna, and Hector. That's, that's more than a handful. That's quite a lot of people. Together, they were stronger than all the monsters of the Badlands. Long before the Copperhead Road was found, that's capital C, capital R, obviously, they knew all one word, the paths and tunnels for Masgarth to, m from Masgarth to Manakalum. And this is just, the rest is just scribbled, I suppose. And over here, we have an advertisement for the Dragon's Den. Grand opening. Come one, come all. Join us in the 23rd, or 23rd of May for the grand opening of the Dragon's Den. Where would that be, though? They're just talking about naked people and whatnot down there. Okay, well, when is the 23rd? I don't think we know. St do we know? I don't think we do. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's it. Let's see what else we have in this party stash. This chest is yours to use. No one can loot it. You can stash up to 50 items inside. Because, of you know, we don't have the technology to stash more than 50 items. Um, well, that is very nice, I suppose. Do I really want to stash anything, in fact? Got some arrows. We got... Yeah, I don't think I want to. I think at the moment, 
most of our equipment is just stuff that we really need, and then I'll ha I'll get a, a feeling for for um you know what I need. Oh, I rolled really badly there. Did I break it? Can I roll again? No, I cannot. A DC at twenty two. I rolled really badly, admittedly, but still. When can I roll again? I wonder. Perhaps never. I mean, maybe the next day. Or the next rest. I don't know. Anyway, what else does this city have for us? A gate guarded by guards. Anar guide you, deputies. Thank you. But I don't know where that goes. The temple quarter. We can fast travel. Go for it. But we don't fast travel to the temple quarter. I, I figured. I figured. And I think that's it. That's all the city has to give. I mean, we're ready. Let's go. To the... Well, not Badlands. Kind of close by. And all we have to do is cross into the threshold of whatever this is. Leave the area? Yes, please. The travel map. Click on a destination to plan your travel. While en route, adventurers can gather food by foraging or hunting. They can also find crafting ingredients and encounter travelers, remarkable locations, or even monsters. Rangers will allow you to travel better, which is true. Rangers are really handy for that. Uh, we don't have any rangers, as far as I am aware, or as far as I remember. And we can... you have travel settings as well. Okay. So we have a journal. No, that's not what I want. Oh, the travel settings don't appear until I actually choose where I'm going. Okay. And this, I suppose, is the Badlands. It's kind of funny the way they talk about the Empire. As if the Empire is a land. When in reality, the Empire is just a political organization, really. The fall of the Empire doesn't mean the land got destroyed. In this case, it actually does mean that that's what happened. It's it's uh, The land got completely obliterated. So I need to go to Kerlem. And I need to travel there. Travel pace. Let's go it fast. Two days. How, what is the difference? No, it's pretty good. Let's go it fast. That's going to allow us one long rest. We have travel settings here. Interrupt when uh, the long rest has been completed. Uh, mm, that's interesting. Interrupt when a character can level up. Yes. Interrupt when an item has been crafted. I also want that. And then cast the good berry spell when the long rest starts, which is really good. You basically don't need to have uh, rations as long as you have a cleric with good berries, which I do not. And uh, it's 10 good berries, yes, as per as per usual. And uh, off we go. Start traveling. Travel routine. Basically, you travel eight hours a day and then you do other things. We have travel fatigue as well. The party did not find any food. The party did not find any useful ingredients. And the party passes an old imperial marketplace, now used as a meeting point. Um... Yeah, I paused the game there, but I don't know that pausing the game... I, well, I pressed space. I don't know if I actually paused the game, but because, you know, it was getting a lot of things. The party passed an old Imperial, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Coralie carves a statuette with a piece of wood. From, I assume, a piece of wood with a piece of wood. Uh, wood. And Arias does some push-ups and squats. As well as, as well as they should. So a group of hostile creatures has managed to surprise you. And we're all surprised, which is actually kind of bad. Because that means uh, we get criticals in the first turn, if they hit, obviously. And we do not have initiative at the beginning, I don't think. So let's... Uh, we still roll initiative, though. But basically, we don't have any actions in the first turn. I think that's what it is. Oh, let's find out. This looks really pretty. Oh! Oh! Okay, our initiative rolls are actually not too shabby. Surprise attack, you have been surprised while camping. You must fight off your attackers before you can leave. Having been surprised, you cannot take any actions during the first turn, yes. And then this uh, lets your characters wait for a specific condition, because we have that already, which is pretty awesome. I wonder how it works, considering it's a computer game in, um, in uh, you know, real-life D&D. You can just say, you know, anything. You just say, I'm ready until this very, very specific thing happens. And if you're bad at being ready, you say too specific, and then, oh, you said you shoot that enemy, but not that one. So, yeah, mm, well, anyway, uh, we have equipment short cuts, shortcuts and uh, weapon shortcuts as well. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm ready with the weapons. Okay, this looks kind of dangerous. They're just bandits. At least they would be, wouldn't they? And that's our turns gone, because we don't have actions. 
But we still have, yeah, we basically, we still have the, um, the first turn. We detected him quite far off, and these guys are not taking advantage of their high ground. Oh, who are they going for? Coralie? Dang it. Mm, nah, Coralie can handle herself. Okay, we got Deg. Now, Deg is gonna shoot. Let's see. So, these guys are the last two. And we have, uh, let's see. Can I tell what they have? Mm, uh, wields a great sword. Okay, that's not too much of a problem. This one is wielding a scimitar. This one has a scimitar as well, and this one has a scimitar. So, great sword might be the biggest danger, possibly a barbarian. Let's see over here. We have no, well, we should move. We should absolutely move. Uh, Deg, specifically. Uh, and I am gonna say the problem is range. I don't think range should be an issue because uh, Let's see Click to attack the target then no light there though. Oh, yeah That is a concern. Oh You can see the line of sight. That is great. That is actually really good. Uh, oh, and I can hide Although it is unlikely that I will So this one is under the light. That is good It's a bandit and this one is also under the light. Knowledge one out of four. That's curious. Knowledge zero out of four. Hmm. Yeah, either way, uh, let's attack you. I roll a 15, that should land. And uh, yeah, that was perfect. Uh, and now I can cunning action into hide. This action can only be performed if the character is not detected. Break the line of sight to proceed. Oh. Um, Well, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? I'm not sure I can break the line of sight. Should be able to. Let's go. Oh, especially if I go up there. That'd be fantastic. Okay. Here comes the great sword wielder. I'm zooming in. The moment you start to zoom in, the... Oh, that's great. Oh, Siobhan being at the front. Okay, that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, that said... Well, it's simple attack. Roll a 10. Divine Smite. Siobhan can smite his target. Her. Her target. With additional damage by... Did they not? They don't detect the character's pronouns there. Um, the, uh, Siobhan can uh, smite her target with additional damage by spending a spell slot. Mm, that could be interesting. I might as well. Impressive move, my friend. Yeah. That was pretty impressive, actually. And then I can just try to engage with that guy. Siobhan isn't very slow. The problem is... No light. My issue with Siobhan, though, is that I don't remember if she has... So she's a, a Sylvan Elf. Or a High Elf. Either way, she's an Elf. So she should have line of, uh, Dark Sight. Or Low Light Vision, or whatever. So I'm gonna go over there, and that shouldn't be a problem. And then we can cast a spell. We can't, because we don't have an action. Uh, and let's see, Carly over here. Yeah, Arias is going to have to disengage. Unless Carly just murders people. We got Preserve Life. Uh, restore Hit Points. Yeah, Turn Undead. Yeah, th those are not abilities that I can use at the moment. Can you not cast a spell? Oh, because I'm missing the components. Yeah. So let's just attack this bandit with a 14, with a plus. That was a hit. That was a hit for three bludgeoning. The damage roll was actually pretty shabby. Uh, so we're just gonna pass. And hopefully Ariash doesn't die. It doesn't die, for sure. Oh, that's a bad roll. Good. Ariash actually could be able to attack this guy, but... The problem with casting the spell is that there's an attack of opportunity, right? You see that minus over there? What is that minus oh, on my cursor? I believe you get an attack of opportunity, so you need to disengage first. And disengage is basically, as I said before, just disables the um, disables the attack of opportunity uh, and uses an action. So you need to have two actions to be able to disengage and attack. Okay, I think it is better. Because I can't use my bonus action. No, I can. To hide. Yeah, I'm hidden. I'm hidden, so that's critical incoming. 
I can use my bonus action before using my action. That's crucial. It's crucial. Uh, I'm still hidden. Rolled an eight plus seven lands. Was that a critical? Performs a sneak attack. It didn't say that. Oh no, it is a sneak attack, so that is a critical. And then we can just keep moving. Yes, yes, we can. I was thinking, yeah, I'm just used to video games. Unfortunately, video games don't allow you to do this a lot of the time. Some of them do. But yeah, you can basically use your uh, movement any way you like. You can stop midway through a movement and, and just do what I did, basically, which is great. Uh, and then we have plenty of movement speed to get back here and get an attack in with a 10 and another Divine Smite. Uh, we're going to kill. Yeah, victory is... <laughs> Finishing your long rest after a night attack, you can safely go back to sleep and complete your long rest. To do so, simply click on Campfire. All your characters will receive the benefits of long rest as normal. It's yours. Well, yeah. Uh, but the good thing is, of course... Holy crap. A light crossbow here. Doesn't Coralie like a... Or is it Arias? I think it is Arias. We got a scimitar... We got proper armor. Let's give it all to Siobhan. All of it. I want to go manually because I want to see. I want to see how that works. Yeah, because that's... Uh, no, you don't need to hide anymore. There we go. Um, she's over encumbered. But that's fine. And then... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. Wow, Invent uh, inventory management is going to be a bit of a pain. But then again, that is how it is. What, um, you know, in d, &D. I wonder... So we picked up a bunch of stuff because they were all together. I think that's how it worked. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. Okay, now let me sort through all the inventory. And by sorting through all the inventory, I mean putting it all in Siobhan. <laughs> because, yeah, this is for tactics rules here. Now... Let's look at the weapons that we got. We got a couple of scimitars, but what I'm interested in is the greatsword here instead of the mace. Now, the reason why I would be a little bit... Yeah, that is... It's not going to be the greatsword instead of the mace. It's going to be the, the greatsword instead of the axe. And the way she wields the greatsword with two hands... What kind of weapon is it? It's it's just a long sword, but it's D and D rules, so it's great sword. They don't they don't use historical terms. It's fine. It's a two handed sword that you cannot use with a single hand unless you possibly have a feet. I don't actually know about those. And then we got a scimitar here. Is the scimitar bet? No, no, it isn't. I was gonna say, is it better than the mace? No, different types of damage. What the scimitar does add is lightness and finesse, which means we can use them. You need you, you don't substitute? Or is it because it's a martial weapon? Oh, dang it. Yeah, it's it's a martial weapon. Short swords might be a simple weapon though. I don't know, but it would be nice for him. It definitely would be nice for him. That's it. I think in terms of weapons, we can't really do much. However, I am interested in knowing if this a lot. No, this is sp this is not for the for the crossbow, which is a shame. It really isn't. So, armor time. Stealth disadvantage. You always get stealth disadvantage even if you are proficient in armor. So Siobhan's armor right now is a like chain mail. And that would be a medium armor. No, it's hev heavy armor. I did not know that. She does have proficiency in heavy armor, though. So we have light armor for everyone else. Oof, not everyone else. Oh, no, we have heavy armor here. Oh, she's already wearing some pretty badass armor. Size might... Si uh, armor size might not be an issue, though. Uh, but let's see. What are you wearing right now? Scale. So 14 armor class... This one is 16 armor class. So if we could get scale for her, or for Siobhan, I should say. Maximum dexterity bonus of two. Oh, she doesn't have much dexterity. She does have chainmail. You know what? Because size is not the issue, we're actually going to switch those 
Because that way her armor class should go up to 20. Uh, unless I'm really mistaken. Her armor class remains unchanged. Oh, I see why. Because this, um, it removes the, the dexterity bonus. What a shame. I see. Okay, let's let's keep them as they are then. Yeah, the dexterity bonus is very important. And then we have leather armor, which is probably what you're wearing. Yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm I was thinking of armor class as lower is better for some reason. <laughs> I know why it's D and D, uh, D and D too. But no, no, our higher is better. I'm just I'm just a silly person. I don't know how I. Yeah, I uh, it's, I, I was confused. I was confused. And there it is. I think it is time for us to drop some of this stuff. Oh, actually, we don't need to drop it right now. We are only the only thing that th this changes is the speed of the team. So I think it's fine. We can just drop it in our destination. That way we get a little bit of a cut when we eventually get out of there. So I don't think we can pause the we can pause the uh maybe we can. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, uh, interrupting travel. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. You can always interrupt your travel manually by pressing the interrupt button. Yeah, but the spacebar is what I was wondering. Then you can click on your character's portrait to open their inventory and possibly start a new crafting activity. Understood. So pressing... St yeah. So pressing space doesn't actually do anything, which is a shame. The party need not find any food or ingredients. The party passes an old imperial marketplace. Now used as a meeting point for the scavengers. And we are here. The party comes across... Wait, what? Oh, we were resting again. Sure, sure, sure. The party comes across some wounded dwarf mercenaries and tends to their wounds. Aryash tells old war stories and cooks a nice meal for the party. Thank you, Aryash. Very nice, as always. And starts the rest. And finish... Finish this long rest and consumed four units of food. Yes. That is the intention. Why are we not going there, though? Why? I mean, we rested over there, I think. Yeah, there it is. For some reason, I thought there was going to be only one rest. And the reason for that was because it actually told me there was only going to be one rest. <laughs> and it was going to take two days. But it took three days. I think it might be because we were over-encumbered at the end. Huh. I'm fine with it. So... That's Kalem. We're almost there. It's just up the hill. It's a little too quiet, don't you think? We're in the marches. So quiet can't be trusted. Quite so. We must be on our guard. We're always on our guard. I don't know what you're talking about. So, holding alt all the time. Rotating the camera for a better view. Not all the time, but a lot, because you never know what we're going to find. That's the keep my eyes peeled button. What's that smell? What? Oh, it is an unknown creature. And the battle starts. My knowledge has increased of goblins. They roll, well, one of them rolls really high on the initiative. Take cover. In battle, you'll often find walls. Yes, yes, I will. And uh, inventory slot utility. It does have that. And difficulty settings. I don't... I pretend I don't see it. So, yeah, all the goblins are actually... Well, there's many goblins. Attack on an ally. Goblin skirmisher is attacking Deg. You can react to impose disadvantage upon the enemy. Right, with that ability. Thank you. Um, Yeah, actually, yes, yes. React. Uh, that's an opposing roll. No, no, no. That was the disadvantage roll. And they're missing. That's actually really good. Because at low level... They have a plus four? That's a... It's a pretty beefy... I should have dropped my armor, by the way. It's a pretty beefy... Uh, damage roll. Attack. I mean, it's not as good as ours, but the difference is negligible. A plus four, a plus six is basically the same thing. So, Dag goes first and cannot hide. At least I don't think he can. That said, taking cover might actually be the better the better thing to do here. We have half cover there. We have no cover here, but we have some cover here. Hmm, I like it. 
Let's go. And now, uh, it is possible. So what I need to be worried about is their weapons. But it is possible that they get advantage because they're higher. They're uh, on higher ground. The target has three quarters cover. Oh, no. What I'm interested in is uh, what they are. So they're all archers over here. And I'll just attack the one that's closest to cover. I roll a 12. That should land. There we go. Move, my friend. That was pretty good, in fact. And then a cunning action to basically not do anything and turn. Then, Cordelie, our cleric. Unfortunately, she's quite slow. Not because she's carrying things, but because that, well... Because she's a halfling. <laughs> I think I might be able to, to reach there with, uh, well, not Arias, with the Siobhan. Mm, I could I could just go on up and, uh, and dodge. Or I could just dash. Is that, is that cover back there? Uh, that is... No, I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna dash. I'm just gonna move up here and dodge. And the dodge is for us to gain advantage, or them to gain disadvantage on the next attack. And that's it. Next, Siobhan. Siobhan, unfortunately, cannot reach there. Not at the moment. So we're gonna do the same thing. Send her here. And then we could ready. Actually, ready might be a good thing. Ready melee attack. Oh, it's very simple. Okay. There's more of them. And I forgot about that because I knew there were more of them. I only saw four down here. Okay, and Arius now should... Well, is that full cover? That is full cover. Should be able to cast a, a lovely spell at the enemies. And I'm going to go with Firebolt. Because I can. Right? Select a target. You can't. Don't have line of sight over there. How did I miss? You did miss on a on a six. That was terrible. Um, was that disadvantage? Hmm. Expeditious retreat. No, no. You stay there. That's a fourteen. Ah! Are you okay? Mm, with an arrow. That's another fourteen. Oh. That's pretty bad. We still have the melee attack prepared. And Divine Smite. Don't do it. No need. And prepare only works once. Oh, that's a miss. That's almost a hit. But it was a miss. Okay, so that guy back there, that goblin. Mm, let's go for a hit. I don't really see a reason to debate my option here. Still can't hide. That's fine. Just stay there. And then Coralie, I can go over there. Mm, I kind of want to. I kind of want Siobhan, but Siobhan is going to be slow because she has the armor. So I have a power, preserve life, right here for Siobhan. Uh, you don't select. You select. You you should select how many points you get. You are a true savior. Yes, yes, you do. Yes, you do select how many points you get. And I didn't. I didn't do that. It's fine. We don't we don't dwell on past mistakes. We dwell on this guy's skull being craft, cracked in half. That was a critical, by the way. Kill them all. Yep. Or at least some of them, and then let the rest for us. Okay, good. Uh that is a critical. Oh! pretty bad it is pretty bad so magic missile there those don't miss am I casting it at higher levels another victory I think I am I did cast it no I can't cast it at higher levels do I have four magic missiles that's incredible either way we are victorious at least I think we are Again! Ooh.
Goblin knowledge increase. Taking a short rest. Short rests are a useful way to recover while exploring a dungeon. Yeah. I know. You recover... I know. I know. Where did those goblins come from? Some hole in the mountain, I guess. I, or the, up the mountain. They came from up the mountain. Anyway, why did I... Messed it up so hard. I am in your debt, my friend. Mm hmm. There you go. We don't need to take a short rest for the moment. Now, I am concerned about. Uh, is this good to carry? 75 of 32. That is very heavy, though. Uh, those are relatively good. I'm looking at the uh, value and the weight comparison. Like, for example, the spear is three weight, but only one value. That sucks. But if you were three weight and three value, that sucked as well. Yeah. So, it's not going to make it any easier. Can anybody else carry this? I think so. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's much better. And now, since we're in a place where everyone can... Uh, don't pause. Uh, everyone can... Uh, or, or where we can call the scavengers to help... We can just focus on on the loot. Let's see. Money. Rations. A torch. Money is important. Rations are also important. Should I be on the lookout for things that are really, really valuable? Anything above 100, perhaps? We got leather. So, yeah, basically, in terms of the equipment... That they left. Or the goblins left. It's not very much. Which is fine. I'm also noticing that I can't mark it as junk. Which would potentially allow it to not be shown on the map. That'd be nice. But yeah, but these guys were only carrying things that I don't care about. Let's find out where they came from. 